Good morning. I'm a time traveler. I'm going back to May 26 to show you some glimpses of what we've been up to. I realize I've shared this stuff when I take video clips, and so I think I've shared it all, but if it doesn't get published, um, it's not shared. And so this July 4th, everybody's still sleeping, and I'm going to try and at least get one of the older ones published. Well, look at this. I am just left the door open, and I'm out here doing the compost. And we've got four of them out. I mean, that means 14 of them are till, still too chicken levered to come out, but they could come out and eat some mosquitoes. I'm to clear the garden patch, and we're finding, what is that, nets, yeah. ropes. Mike started while I was gone and did that far. And for this year, we're looking at 42 by 25. So kind of where the post is up there, down to here, so like this, where that post is, down to where that stump is, beyond the boys, and across to right where that chunk of wood is. Basically, trying to avoid having to take out more stumps right now. And uh, the boys are going to till, and we've been moving wood and trying to get... I don't know why they had nets in here with the horses. And then, as much as Alex keeps saying, this is just dirt, this is just dirt... Um, all that Mike tilled up already, um, he really thinks is all horse poop. And then you can see the grass is just growing. This was all bare horse poop when we moved in, all the way over to the far mound beyond the trees, over to the woods there. And it's all green now, so obviously stuff will grow in this. I'm just not sure... You know, cabbage and carrots are going to grow in it. It's the garden, it's the garden, it's the garden. For gentle parenting. <laughs> gentle chickening. <laughs> that one is mad. <laughs> Isaac's just bringing them out one by one. I even have chicken treats out here, but they're too... You know, two chicken have a chicken treat, and I was trying to get them interested. I don't know if they're going to find it over there on that stump. What do you think of the grass? You want to come see me? You want to come see me? <laughs> come on. Hello, little man. Do you hear an airplane? Yeah. Are you going to be a bush pilot? You going to grow up and be a bush pilot? <laughs> it's all horse manure. I just keep moving around because I'm trying to avoid the hiney shots, but <laughs> no matter where I go. <laughs> No, I'm doing a video. <laughs> Take it quick. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so actually, I thought I could put the goats back there and we could just cut their food like they did the horses. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm trying not to compact the soil, but when you take a step... Oh, yeah, you sink. You sink! We have feet and feet of brown, rich. You know, in a few years, we're going to be wishing we had all this because we're going to have to be paying for horse manure. Not for a while. <laughs> for a long time. So we have plenty of work for everyone. While they're 
digging stuff out of the garden plot and Nolan will watch and feed the fire and they're still, I think they finally got that wad of string out of there. Oh, I guess it was only half of it. Oh, I love that sound. I'm thinking s'mores. Starting to smell like horse. <laughs> Could be my feet. There we go. Found the water and the food and the grit. I don't think anybody's found that chick treat on the stump yet. While everyone's working outside, Stacia is tackling donuts. We found a copycat recipe for Krispy Kreme donuts. And we need to get a donut um, cutter. But for now, this is working. <laughs> so we'll keep going. She wants you to see this perfect circle. At this end, it's a little bit better mix of soil and manure. But he's still finding big old piles of rope. As we get it all tilled up, it is smelling more and more like we have a horse. So I'm going to get a shovel and put a bunch of that in the compost heap. Well, I got a load of manure in here, a wheelbarrow full. You can hardly tell where I took it from out there, so I'll probably put another one or two in here and mix it up. It's got lots of shavings and food scraps and chicken. Look at Ariel's hair. Woohoo! Mommy's hair is <laughs> electrifying, Benny. So, this is what happens <laughs> when your little greenhouse shelves collapse. So we've got uh, all the beets were in a big pile. Doing this, I'm helping her with the oil. It's chopsticks. You can just tip them right over. You don't puncture them. You don't burn yourself. Pretty cool. You dip it in the glaze. Let it drain and cool a bit. Frost it with the chocolate frosting and put sprinkles on it if you want. It's pretty good with just the glaze, too. I thought those might be burned, so I told Stacia to give it a try. Go ahead. Not burned. Doughy? I oh, don't know. Let me take another bite and see. <laughs> okay. Not terribly. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's the little treat for the guys who are working. They look yummy. So here we are at the end of the day. And we made really good strides on the garden spot. Unfortunately, two, three feet down, it's still manure, so... Or clay. So we've got to figure out, I don't know, we have to do something. Have to do some research. We're going to try and get all the manure in one big manure pile. And because that back one is full of manure, and so is that one. But this one was still so hot that things weren't growing. Got a brush burned. There was a, that pile came out to about in front of this car. So it's getting done. I was going to put it all in the compost, but honestly, our compost bin is filling up quick. We're ready for the second, so we have to go find some more pallets. And I don't know about this design, because it keeps falling off. So maybe we do want something. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but I would put all the little branches in here, except this one's already full. So today I moved the chicken when I cleaned out the coop. I put that in and stirred it all up. I put a wheelbarrow full of horse manure and stirred it all up. Took another wheelbarrow full and we still have acres and acres. Miles and miles <laughs> of, of big brown horse piles. <laughs> so I put a second load on top thinking that if it's covered with manure, the moose will probably leave it alone, and it'll heat up. 
And what else did we do today? We made donuts, which Mike said tasted like beignets. That's always a good thing. That is a good thing. They were very good. <laughs> a bunch of the plants, not all of them, after this one fell over. And this one was growing around couch legs and speakers and up baseboards. So now my house no longer looks like Jumanji or the Garden of Eden. Our goal is starting tomorrow. We're going to be putting the moose fence in so we can plant all those. So we're getting things done. Jared has a donut alert. <laughs> and he came to visit. And look what was sitting on the deck. <laughs> So they turned out good. Way, perfect way to end a busy day working outside. S'mores and Benny approves. Are they Benny approved? Huh? Oh, he's like looking at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> and Bree joined us over there. I was dreaming of s'mores. Were you? Yes. We just watched the Veggie Cell episode inside. And it was, and it was talking about the mars, the mars, and I was like, oh, it's cool. Well, Stacia, did you tell them about the smush s'mores at Hershey's? Yeah, I did. Alex claims he does it all the time. Double decker. I don't know how you do that. They don't seem very impressive. Can I tell you they were going to charge nine dollars for one at Hershey's? That should be impressive, right? Yes, that's impressive. $9 a s'more? $9 for a s'more. Wow. <laughs> wow.